CC Link IE Field Network Connection Guide for Digital I.O. Control of Input and Output in a Remote Location A control device can be directly wired to the input and output module if it is closely located. But it is troublesome to run multiple analog input and output cables to a control device in a remote location. By utilizing the network, input and output for the control device in a remote location can be reliably controlled with only one network cable. Now, let's see the operation explained in this video. This control system is configured with a master station that controls the network and a remote station that controls input and output. As an example of remote input control, when the switch is pressed, the state change is sent over the network, and the sequential circuit contact turns on. As an example of remote output control, when a sequential circuit coil turns on, the state change is sent over the network, and the corresponding lamp on the remote station turns on. The system configuration, installation and wiring, setting, and operation check are explained in this order. System configuration This is the master station configuration. In this system, a CPU module with built-in network interface is used. The master station controls the network. This is the remote station. The remote station communicates with the master station and performs input and output operations. Installation and wiring As shown, only one Ethernet cable is used to connect modules. Insert the connector until it clicks into place. This completes the sections on system configuration and installation and wiring. Please watch the setting video next.